You know, that bit of graphics hasn't been seen on KCSM Channel 60, but we see it all the time in production. It's a header we use to get the count down to a program to get the timing right. KCSM-TV and KCSM-FM have been getting the timing right, most of the time, for 25 years. It has been a quarter of a century for these two stations, KCSM-FM and KCSM-TV, serving the peninsula and beyond around the bay. The antennas first went up in 1965 with programming in black and white only on TV, Channel 14, yes, Channel 14. The FM station had only 375 watts of power back then. The purpose was to provide educational, informational, and public service programming to the area. The College of San Mateo was on the air, and the KCSM stations joined a small and select group of educational institutions with broadcasting voices for their communities. Telecourses were a major part of the action even then. Would you like to see a couple of television samples from the black and white days? In San Mateo County, about 150,000 police reports are written annually. They are a vital part of police work. Today we're going to be discussing these reports and their significance with Sergeant Tom Reese of the Daly City Police Department, who is also chairman of the Training Managers Association. The procedure for making an unoccupied bed will vary slightly in different agencies. The nurse will first assist the patient to get out of bed. Well, there were also political debates, football games and other sports, and even remote TV and radio broadcasts from places like the San Mateo County Fair. The educational variety was well received on radio as well as TV. Soloist, group, combo, band, orchestra, all presenting sounds for moderns. From swing to jazz, from folk to hootenanny, these have been the exciting sounds of today's musical expressions heard nightly on KCSM FM. And we sincerely hope that you will continue to be in our audience for the modern sounds at the 90.9 spot on your FM dial. Wait a minute, did he say the 90.9 spot? Yes, he did. That was the original dial position. But it soon became apparent that more power was needed for both stations. For radio, more power was available if the dial position was moved up just a bit to 91.1. It was moved, and KCSM FM 91 now broadcasts at 14,000 watts, a bit more than 375. For television, the solution was a bit more colorful. A trade was worked out with KDTV Channel 60. KDTV got Channel 14, and KCSM got not only Channel 60, but a great deal of new equipment, including color capability, which made quite a difference. Let's listen. Good morning, I'm Chad Jeffries. Welcome to Peninsula Weekly. On today's program, Amy Lipton will show you ways you can insulate I'm Jeff Rios. Join us for these stories and more next on Peninsula Weekly. Think of dolphins, most of us picture playful, gentle little... Peninsula Weekly, by the way, was an early example of the magazine format on television with a great deal of student participation because the KCSM stations are also living laboratories for the education of broadcasters. Here's another early example. 90.9 San Mateo. Eddie, Eddie, hold up hey. a second. 
Yeah, oh, hey. Uh, hey, long yeah. time no see. What you been doing? Oh, you know, I've been just been around, you know. Hey, I heard you dropped out of school and went to work. Man, I bet you that's a gas, being on your own, not having to worry about homework and all that jazz and making all that dough. By the way, where are you working? Oh, well, right now, I mean, it, you know, it's, it's not permanent, but I'm uh, washing dishes at a drive-in. Washing dishes? Well, but, but it's a strictly a stopgap, I mean, because I got this buddy, see, and he's got a real good friend whose dad owns Acme Motors, and he says that even if I haven't had any mechanical training, he's sure he can get me on down there. Uh, yeah. Well, it's sure. a, just give me a chance, man. Like Steve I know somehow I can, doesn't like seem I impressed, stars. and more than likely, neither will the manager of Acme Motors. Without a high school education or technical training, Eddie is a poor employment risk, and his prospects for a successful financial future are rather dim. Vocational education? Anyone? Things have improved quite a bit, and there is still considerable student input into the programs that KCSM produces today. Many of these names belong to students. And many of these students have gone on to careers in commercial and public broadcasting with many of the radio and TV stations in the Bay Area and elsewhere. It's the same story at KCSM FM 91. It was the first national public radio affiliate in the Bay Area back in 1970. A place for people to learn about broadcasting, not just one formula or format, but a wide range of techniques that makes them valuable wherever they go. And in recent years, the jazz format brought KCSM FM its largest audiences ever, although it has been a costly format to operate. Without listener support, it would be impossible. Radio or television, KCSM has been characterized by a special spirit. The desire to experiment, to try new things. When you're affiliated with or part of a college, there's also a youthful exuberance in the air, the desire to have some fun while the work gets done. And that's just a bit of what goes on in and on top of the library and media center in the hills above San Mateo. As you can see, all of the activities have something else in common, limited budgets. It's been that way for 25 years, but the results have been good for the school, the students, and the community. The television broadcast day is still about 50% telecourses, and many of these are for college credit. The finest public television is still available on Channel 60, and the best in jazz and public radio is on KCSM FM 91. Radio and television programs are still being developed and produced for local broadcast and national syndication, and young people are still receiving academic and practical training for careers in broadcasting. It's been happening at KCSM for 25 years. The people who are KCSM are proud of their history and they're looking forward to the future. And with the support of the viewers and the community, it'll keep right on happening for years to come. <laughs>